So today I'm going to be doing a video on how to install the latest AMD graphics drivers onto the Lenovo Legion Go. I've done a similar video for the ROG Ally and the process is identical, but I thought I would do one specific to the device just so that someone can, uh, with that device will feel more comfortable following the changes. Why would you want to cha uh, ch change the drivers to the latest AMD drivers? Um, generally, it's when a new game is released and uh, AMD release a fixed driver for that game. But manufacturers like uh, Lenovo and Asus lag behind so you don't have that fix in the game which locks you out from playing that game. Um, so some people, myself included, will update the graphics drivers to the latest so they can play that game until Asus or Lenovo catch up. Um, an example of that is the current game uh, Avatar Frontiers of Panda Pandora. Um, there's been a fixed release for that. So with that said, let's start. So the first step we're going to do is cleaning up. So if we go down onto um, the start menu and right click, so that's press and hold the track until this menu comes up, um, we'll go up to installed apps. This is a great menu. You get access to just about everything in Windows. And I only found it recently, despite using Windows for years. And what we're going to do is uninstall AMD settings. So we come across to the triple dots and click on install and click on install again. And just to make sure that we really want to do this, I will click yes. So if we wait for the screen to update, um, it'll be deleted when AMD settings disappears. It shouldn't take much longer. There we go. Okay, so we can close this window now. And what we're going to do is open File Explorer, so tap on that. And we're going to scroll down and we go to the C drive. So we double click on that to open it and there's a folder called AMD. So if we click and hold on the trackpad, so a right click, and it'll come up with options we want to do is just delete this. So we, we select the trash can symbol. Click that and it may ask you for admin privileges but we click continue. Um, now a lot of the time when you delete stuff, unless it's really, really large files, it goes into the recycle bin, so it's not cleared off of your drive. So to tidy that up, just right click onto the recycle bin. Let's try that again. Okay, and empty recycle bin. And then say yes to permanently delete them. Um, okay, I'm just gonna set that button and say continue. And our recycle bin's now empty. So now what we want to do is, that's the preparation stage up. Uh, let's open Microsoft Edge or internet browser of your choice. And we will go to the following website. So click in here and it's amd.com forward slash en forward slash support. Now I've been here before, I've, I've tested this before uh, doing this video. So I will put a link in the description. So let's go to this page. Um, and what we want to do is scroll down just below here to define drivers and support by selecting your product. So um, what we want to do is pro uh, select processors with graphics from this first menu, AMD Ryzen processors from the second, AMD Ryzen 7 processors with Radeon graphics um, is in the third window. Now, I don't have a great deal of real estate, weirdly, um, despite it being a very large screen. Um, so you can't make out the various graphic card types. So I'm hoping there might be a zoom. So here, what I can do is zoom out 10% and hopefully that'll make it clearer. Brilliant. So now, we can see that the names here, and what we want to do is get the 78, 77, uh, sorry, the 7840U. 
and it's the fifth option. So if you if you get to this, use the fifth option because you can check you've got the right one. So 7840U and we hit submit. And up at the top it tells you, yep, yeah, we've got the 7840U. If, it, if it, you've picked something else by mistake, go back and pick the correct one. Now we want to expand the Windows 11 64-bit edition and scroll down just a little bit to where it says AMD Software Adrenaline Edition. Um, so we will download this. So good, earlier it took me five minutes to download it. I think my internet was playing up. So as you can see, you know, this is the download button on the Bing bar. Um, there is something similar in Chrome. So we'll just wait for that to finish, see as it's not taking too long. So if I click on, here we are, so it's gone, there's a little green icon, it's downloaded, so we can just click on this bar and we can say open file. Um, you can also go to the folder and do that manually, but we may as well just click on open file here. I think on Chrome you may have to just click into the folder and then open the file. And so now it will prompt us. And it's going to start running this software and it's going to fail. Do not worry about that, that's what we want at the moment. It just means that it thinks you know that the driver we have um, is wrong. So we'll close and I'll close this browser window. There we are, lost my cursor for a second. So we're now going to right click on the start menu again. Right click on the start menu, there we go, and we're going to go to device manager. So this shows you all the hardware um, that you've got in your system and that, you know you can access the drivers for it. So find display adapters. Now mine says AMD Radium 780M graphics. Yours will probably say something different, but if you're on a Lenovo Legion Go, there should really be only one display adapter. That's the one you want to, to work on. So right click on this. Hold on. Okay. And then click update driver. Come down to browse my, browse, browse my computers for drivers. Come down to let me pick from a list of available drivers. And come down to the have disk option. And then click browse. Now I've already browsed to the location, but I shall take it right back to the start so that we can get the right location for you. So we'll, we'll be at the start of your C drive Click on AMD. Now, if you remember, we deleted this directory. So this has been recreated by um, that the, the driver software we just ran. So if we click into AMD, software installer, packages. No, no, I don't want to rename it. Packages, drivers, display, WT6A underscore INF. And now this is the file we want. To future proof it, if you're installing latest drivers some point in the future, this file may be named something different. It will be, you know, it may be different uh, number sequence, whatever. But if it's in this directory and it's the only inf file you've got, it's probably a safe bet that this is the display driver you can use. So, we, you know, just pick that one. If there's multiples, then it, it's probably best not to carry on any further. So we click that and then say OK. And we then get a number of options here. And it's very important to pick the 780M graphics. OK, so we click that and then click Next. And it will give you a little warning, but this is what we want to do. So click yes. 
Now it's going to take a little while to install drivers. At some points it's going to go to a black screen and you'll hear a little bleep. Now it, it may do this once or twice, um, but after one of his, the first black, uh, black screen, after so there, it only did it once, but the last time it goes to the black screen, it, it generally just sort of is complete. So that's great. We can close this now. And we don't want to restart just yet. Let me just consult my notes because I've temporarily forgotten the next step. Okay, yes. <laughs> so we can close this window. And we're now going to go into the folder, uh, File Explorer. We're going to go down to, well, this PC, C drive. I really must clear up some space on there. AMD, Software Installer, Packages, Drivers again, Display, WTA 6 in, uh, 6 a uh, duh, duh, blah, that one. And then we're going to go down to the very last folder. So again, future proofing. Um, if you've got, you know, watching this video a few months down the line and you've got the latest drivers for that point in time, this folder may be named differently. Essentially, all the other folders begin with AMD. Um, if there's one folder that exists that doesn't begin with AMD, then this is probably one that you want. So go in there. If there's multiple folders, you can probably go in and look for the file I'm going to tell you about. But we'll go into this one, B398182. And to save time, because there's loads of files in here, if you go up to the top here, click in here. Ah, so the, the, oh, the keyboard's not popping up automatically. So if we come down here, we can trigger the keyboard from this little icon. Trigger the keyboard, go back up here, and type in CC. And this is just searching for anything that has CC in its name. And... This is the file that we want to run, so double click. And yes, we want to allow it to do this. And we'll let it work its way through. Now when this is complete, um, I'm going to restart, and so should you. Um, I'm going to pause the video so you don't get to watch me put in my pin and or wait for it to boot up again. Um, and then I'll just show you that that's the job more or less done. So it should finish shortly. Oh, sorry. Huh. Zoned out. There we are. It's finished. The close button is now available. So if I click on that, and now if I come down here, um, click on the start menu, go across here, and I'm going to select restart. Um, I'll be back almost instantly for you, but it'll be a little while for me. So that's us back. Um, let me just uh, go, and what I can do is, on my start menu, um, I can go up here. And I have AMD settings. So I shall show you that now um, you should see something very sim similar to this. You should be on 23.12.1. Um, I should say the first time I installed these drivers on the ROG Ally, and it probably happened on the, on the go, but I can't recall, it prom prompted me for what sort of um, performance setting I wanted. It Was it performance setting? It's... It's one of the settings where it, um, one of the options was default, choose that, and then you'll eventually get to this screen here. Um, I've tested avatars with this, um, with this fix, and there are still stutters, so I think that could be memory-based. But I've also seen that you can use FSR3 
Um, it stutters at first and then seems to smooth out and you get very, very infrequent uh, flutters. So that's quite good. Also, one thing I've not tested out yet is that um, apparently there's a Hyper RX Eco setting which does things and that's meant to do some pretty good things for um, battery life. So something to investigate either yourself or I'll, I'll have a play and at some point give an update. So hopefully all goes well for you. Um, you'll be on the latest drivers and be able to play Avatar. Thanks for watching.